What I love most about Berlin is how friendly and accepting the people are, and it's very international. And because of that, I made it super easy to integrate myself into the community and make it feel like it's home. Berlin is such a creative city. In, in Berlin, you can be everything. People are open to explore themselves and try out new things and make mistakes. I have a strong feeling that whoever you are, whatever you came from, you can find your place, you can find your people. And you meet people who are from really different professions. You meet other designers, you meet filmmakers, you meet people who work in startup, and the startup community is really, really big here. So you see a lot of different intersections, for example, in startups, in techs and arts, in coding and arts. And for me as a designer, it's a really, really cool, inspirational city to live in. Just do it, just go for it. Just pack your bag and come here. The website of Code is there to read and every information is there. It's not only to make it pretty or something, it's user experience wise it's tested. My biggest piece of advice for any international students applying to Code would be to reach, try and reach out through social media platforms like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. And uh, you can see other students who are tagged and it would really help to talk to them and see their experiences. You can also reach out to Code students like me. On, uh, on social media or something. So yeah, we are always so welcoming to help. What I was scared a bit that maybe I will be alone here when I come. And somehow you, I got so many friends, I got met so many great people here. What I'm really learning nowadays is like, not only like how to be the best designer or like how to be good at what you're doing in design, but also like how to communicate your design and how to communicate in team and work in team. So that's what I like about learning code because I don't think I can get it in other universities.